Today, I'm gonna be talking about the top three things to know about on managing a home care agency business. My name is Scott McKenzie, and I am the founder of Golden Age Companions, a non-medical home care agency based in Irvine, California. We have been in business since 2011 and have generated over $8 million of total revenue. I also have founded a company called Home Care Agency Blueprint, which is designed to help you start, scale, and grow your very own home care agency. So without further ado, let's dive in here. Alrighty, so when considering the three things on managing a home care agency for your new agency or your existing home care business if you currently have a home care agency already you likely know these things maybe those there's something else i'll cover that you'll learn new if you are looking at starting up a very your new um, home care business i will go over what the top three things are that it takes to be running a successful home care business so the first thing is your client care management second thing human resource management and then financial management is the third the first one i'll go over and that is all about when you are essentially so you know obviously getting brand new clients is something that is important you've got to be able to take care of your clients in a quality way and the better that you take care of your clients the better your agency will be it'll be more successful it'll uh you know you'll have word of mouth and you'll also be able to grow quicker because people will be talking about your agency on how well their mom or dad or loved one has been taken care of by your business so you know effective i'm just kind of doing like a thirty thousand foot overview there's a lot more things in running a home care business but today i just want to do a quick video on these top three things just for people that are looking at maybe if you're considering getting into the home care agency business so when it comes to the client care management this is obviously the cornerstone of your home care business you've got to you know deliver high quality personalized care that meets the unique needs of each client and you know make sure that there's client satisfaction safety well-being now when the first thing on doing the assessment and planning make sure that an in-home assessment is conducted and your care plan is created properly this is important because the better that you create an assessment and that's robust then you can relay that to the caregiver as well when you're hiring your staff to go in the home and then service delivery that's the same thing as bringing in a caregiver in the home so making sure that you know your caregiver shows up on time they're consistent ideally you're bringing in the same caregiver each shift and say you have a new client that's three days a week eight to five monday tuesday friday that that same caregiver returns every single week and that will increase your client satisfaction your clients will be much happier knowing that that same caregiver is coming back and that they um, trust and like that caregiver that they have back to as far as like for client satisfaction making sure that getting feedback from not only the family um, but even actually the caregiver too that's a way of making sure the client is also satisfied because if you have an unhappy caregiver in the home that's going to trickle down to the client not being happy as well so make sure to get necessary feedback to be sure that your clients are happy now human resource management this is you know the quality of care provided is directly linked to quality and satisfaction of the caregivers maintaining human resources effectively is crucial to you know providing your uh, quality skilled workforce and so staff recruitment and retention hire qualified caregivers offer competitive benefits now 
there's certain things that you could do for your caregivers. Number one is a simple thing and it's essentially free is culture. You know, really allowing your caregivers to feel that they are a part of a family working for you and that, you know, they enjoy their client. They feel that if there's ever any issues on the case, they can pick up the phone and call you or say your staffing coordinator to, you know, relay the information, what's going on in the, in the case. And if there's ever any issues that arise that they can, they feel like they're supported. So that there's also benefits such as 401k, you know, um, any retirement plans, making sure that, you know, like say you pay the caregivers, that there's certain benefits that you can do to re retain them. So like you can pay the caregivers every Friday instead of every two weeks. Um, there's different platforms now where employees can now pull a percentage of their paycheck out. Even if their payday isn't there yet, they're able to do that um, up front. We talk about all that in my home care agency blueprint course, and my team can help you roll this stuff out, uh, given that you want to work with us and sign on. But those, you know, those are just different things that you can do when it comes to retaining uh, quality caregivers. But I would say the number one thing is culture, because if you don't have quality culture, um, then that just means you're not communicating and relaying proper information to your caregivers. And if they're upset, it doesn't matter if they have 401k, if they feel like they can't even talk to, you know, the office staff about the case, um, they're going to be upset anyway. So, so making sure that they're happy training and development, being sure that the caregivers are educated and they know what they're doing when they go in the home. This comes back to the assessment and planning. Because like when you go out and build out a proper care plan, you're also relaying that information to the caregiver that they are trained properly to handle the client. For example, that maybe on hospice or uh, maybe there's certain bathing or hygiene assistance that they need, being sure that there's training on that. The caregiver most likely that you hire will already have those skills, but sometimes there's some that are learning and um, they, they need to be trained. So there's that performance management, you know, regularly evaluate and provide feedback to caregivers, you know, so just really that's, that's an obvious, just, um, relaying to your caregivers, what it is that they're, they can improve upon and even giving them kudos on doing a great job for the ones that are really performing well and taking really like quality care for, for your client. Even for example, like a simple phone call of thanking them on after say a, a month or two of providing care, thanking them on doing such a great job with X client and, um, you know, thank you for being there and just like, is there anything that you want to talk about and, and whatnot? So that's, that's a good way of, of, uh, that kind of comes down to like the culture as well. And then there's financial management. So that's, you know, budgeting, making sure that you have a detailed budget that aligns with your agency's goals and financial capabilities. This comes down to billing and payroll. You've got to be sure to be collecting your accounts receivable properly, uh, ideally invoicing every week, like every Monday and being able to collect those funds in time. So you make sure that you can cover payroll for your caregivers. We teach you how to do that in my course as well. Financial reporting. This is essentially, you know, bookkeeping. You could use QuickBooks. There's other resources, other small companies now out there that can uh, help you with with um, your bookkeeping. There's even, you know, like AI built into bookkeeping now that can help you kind of manage those those books uh, when starting out. So. The thing with this too is like for the financial side, I would recommend getting, if you can, one or two business credit cards and just run all of your expenses through those cards. And then usually there's like an app built into those cards that they can document the expenses for you. And or you can give that same card, like those statements to your bookkeeper or link it to them. And then they know exactly how to categorize all the expenses based off that card. So that's something that you know, you want to keep your financials properly, you know, I would say once, once a quarter at the minimum, but ideally every 30 days at the end of the month, just kind of like review 
your reports, see how the financial health of the company is, and then you can make decisions on, you know, if you're spending more money on advertising or you want to host an event at the office or something like that, you could you could do those things uh, based off, you know, certain budgets. So, so yeah, these are the top three things on that I would say in running a home care agency. This is kind of just an overview. All right, thank you for coming to my channel today and, and watching this video. If you felt like you got value out of it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you are interested in working with me and my team on how to start and scale your very own home care agency, we can talk about that. You can book a call with me. There's a link in the description below. It is a calendar link and we can talk about how to start and grow your business. If you're looking at just getting in this business and just want to have a conversation, we can do that too, to define if this is the right fit for you. And once again, thanks again for, for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.